Afternoon guys, welcome to another Hello Choice tutorial video. Today we will be covering the registration process from the buyer's side. My name is Matt, I'm one of the business developers here at Hello Choice. And uh, like I said, today we're going to be working through the buyer's registration. If you're not familiar, I will put a link below to the seller um, to the seller registration. That would be if you're a farmer or whether you're wanting to sell something. If you're a buyer, this is the registration you will be using in order to take part in the auctions or to purchase something off the platform. Uh, it's pretty simple. You will see the website behind me, which is what you will land on when you go to www.hellochoice.co.za. So when you land on uh, this, this thing, I need you to go up to here, register. And what it will do, it will then take you to our first web page, which will look like this. Okay, so after this, we then move into this one. So it will automatically take you in. Please remember to register as a buyer if you're going to be buying things wholesale. So what I've done is I've actually gone in and I've actually done this for you. So for the one we're going to be going through, um, I see I've gone to the second page. So the first page. We'll plug in our first name, surname, ID number. This is a fictitious, these are fictitious um, uh, information, guys. These things do not exist. Uh, so don't bother phoning these things except for maybe using this one over here, which is my email address for work. Uh, so if you were following on the seller video, you'll see it looks very similar. Uh, ID, identity number, contact number, contact number for your office if this applies. Please make sure that all the ones with the little red stars are important to fill in. It will not let you carry on if you don't. Your physical address, and then I explained in the in the seller video. If you want to, if you didn't chance, I'll put a link in the video below. Is that if you are a buyer and a seller, you can then use two email addresses. If you only have one and you only use one, make this one a fake email address. It doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world, but it would help you to have two emails, but it's not the end of the world if you don't. So you can use your wife's or something like that, or set up a Gmail account. Uh, so I added in this one here, which I made a fake one. Um, and then what I did was I then added the one I use every day in here. So for those buyers who actually do want to have their real email in here, you would use this email address over here, and this will be your login email, your login username as well. So what you would have to do in order for it to work, you must click enter. So now any email that comes at when you're buying, if you're getting invoices, all of that, it will come to this email and it will also be sent to this email and whoever else you choose. So please remember with every email, you need to click enter if you're adding additional email addresses. Tap in a password. Remember, this will be your password for logging in and go to the next page. This is your business page. Um, so what we do is we go to our entity, our Matt's Fresh Produce, my company, my VAT registration, my all my contact numbers, my address, my name and my business representative, very similar to the seller video. Coming in here, the business representative contact number and your email address again, your province and your delivery. I just made it for Cape Town. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, but obviously, if in a real situation, you will need to put your real delivery in. Um, it's going to ask you if you have a primary collection vehicle. Remember, with Hello Choice, we do kind of prefer if you collected your own, but we can you, you can arrange your own transport. Just if you don't have a delivery vehicle, you can arrange transport, or we can arrange transport for you on your behalf. But either way, that's what it is. So if you do have a vehicle, you would enter it in here. I do have a vehicle. It's a Hyundai H1. It's white. This is its re re our registration. Again, this is a fictitious one and a fictitious driver's name. Now, I've left the next part out quite purposely because I do feel we need to do this together. Okay. You don't need to worry about this really. It is only if you want to say, this is my daily bidding mandate, my weekly bidding mandate, or my monthly bidding mandate. Don't worry too much about this. You can read about this in the buyer registration and the buyer terms and the buyer uh, guide. Okay, don't worry about too much about it. If you do have a problem, please get a hold of your um, your account manager and he will explain this to you. Uh, now remember with that, we then say 
direct EFT, you have to pay it di directly via EFT and it must clear now before you're able to collect your stuff. Okay, so what will happen is once you have paid and the money reflect, we will then let the farmer know that your money is secured and that you can go and collect. If you are not happy with the stuff, we will then be able, you have a middle person and hello choice to be able to refund your money immediately. Um, although we hope this will never happen, we um, we do guarantee that your money is then safe. Okay, as with the seller, there is a buy in, um, buy to uh, general terms, privacy policy and your buyer terms. And these are legally binding. Please read them. Please familiarize yourself with them. And if there's nothing you know, if there's anything you don't understand, please contact your um, your account manager. So for the sake of the video, we're going to say we have read it, and you can come back and read this at any time. And you will then select finish. See, so this email has already been taken. So what we would then have to do is we will then select that it says matt at gmail.com. Okay, we will then have to tap everything back in again. I'm glad we're doing this together, guys, because this is very important. Enter. Tap in your password again. If you understand, I know this looks frustrating, but if you do make a mistake, it's just a form of security. It doesn't take long to do this. And rather, let's make the mistake here than uh, later on. Okay, so we'll just go next. Check that's all okay. Next. And we'll click finish which is obviously not working right now. So obviously there's something where, oh, of course we need to understand that. Now we can click finished. Okay, so registration completed successfully. Your account will be activated and confirmed on email once done. Once you get uh, your activation, you will receive an email, which we will go to now. You will then be able to enter that part, that first email address, which we put in here. Well, now it was that Gmail account I just added and the password you selected. Okay, so once we've done that, we will then move on to our emails. Okay. This is going to be the email. This is, gives you the banking details of where you're going to pay when you've bought something and then you'll buy a guide. It'll tell you all your account details and who your account manager is and another link to your privacy policy and your terms. Uh, also finance um, email address and let's go into the buyer guide this is a very important document guys you have to I'd really so very similar to the, um, the seller guide uh, you just go through it shows you exactly how the platform works um, it looks a bit daunting and long but it will help you and eventually but this is what also what the videos are for so we're gonna pretty much do this for those of you who like to read we will then um, allow you to read this or if you like to watch that's why we're here okay guys uh so what we'll do on next we'll move on to listing that will be for the sellers and you got the buyers can also see how it works um the next uh and then what we'll do after that once we've listed something we will then partake in an auction with actual um bidders online and you guys can see how it works I will then be bidding for myself using the account registration we have just used and we'll take it from there. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.